Welcome to this Gibbs Cam Tech Tip. Today we're going to be talking about utility markers. Utility markers are the ability to put explicit commands live in the toolpath as you program your part. As if you wanted to maybe change a spindle speed or add a comment along the way in your toolpath, utility markers is the way to go. They're fast, they're easy to use, it's drag and drop kind of stuff, um, and easily editable. Here is our finished toolpath. So we're gonna go up here to our operation, and here we have utility markers. And when we click that on, you see that we get these points. These are the um, vector points or no points, whatever you want to call them. And different choices that we can do. We can change the feed rate, we can change the spindle speed, we can put a comment, we can change uh, the CRC, we can put in a program stop, all these things that you might need when you're programming your part. So for example, let's do a variable feed. And why would we do that? Well, let's say that we want to come into this corner here at a higher rate of feed and then slow down. Okay. So maybe we want to come in at 50. Okay. Um, let's come in, let's come in at a higher rate. Let's come in at 100. And we could take this and we can drag it right there. Okay. And now let's say that when it ends, we want it to be 25. So it's going to start here. By the time it gets to here, it's going to change the feed rate. So it's going to slow down around this corner. Now, we could also have it be both the same if we wanted to do that. But there's a good reason. Maybe the tool backs up. Maybe there's chip conditions. Maybe it's hard material. All, all those sorts of things could be possible. Maybe you want to change the spindle speed as well. So let's slow the spindle down. So we're going to drop this in front of our other marker. Okay, so as it comes around here, the spindle speed slows down. We move, to, move into the corner, oh, and we can slide this down here closer. And you'll also notice that these numbers update as well. So it kind of tells you where you're at along the toolpath, which is kind of cool. And then uh, let's say maybe we want to put in um, a comment. Let's put it in as a slow down the tool. And then we can take this and we can drop that here if we wanted to do that as well. So just a couple of quick changes there. And again, you could take and put these anywhere along any part of this toolpath. For this presentation, it's just put them in the first to run the toolpath. This way you can see it easier. But you can't put them everywhere. You can put them all down in here, put them over here. It's whatever you want to do. It's very nice. It's very efficient. And it's pretty fast to do, as you can see, just kind of like a drag and drop. Once we have the utility markers where we want them, we process it, right? So we're gonna come down in here, we'll look at our code, our initial start, slow down the tool, we change the spindle speed, we up the, the feed rate, and then we slow it back down again. So these, again, very cool, very explicit commands that you can put into um, the G code, right? Without having to do a whole lot of work. And basically it's just a drag and drop. You can also go back now. Let's go back to this and let's show all the markers. So here's all the markers that we put on. Okay. And you can rearrange them. So for example, we could, uh, you know, we could move this over here. We could pick on this here and we could change this to say, you know, what we really wanted there was a 50, right? So we can update and edit these on the fly. We can edit, you know, uh, the anything we want to edit, right? Just put it in there and, and off we go. So again, it's very cool. It's very fast. So let's just uh, process that again, just so you can see that we did make that change. Come down in here. These are our initial positions, 500. Notice we change it to this uh, feed rates. And here we are, we change them again. So again, very cool very fast, very flexible, gives us the ability to affect the tool path without having to go in and edit a bunch of things in some editor. So with that said, that's utility markers. Use them, they're great, they work easy. If you want any more information, please contact your local reseller.
Thanks and have a great day.